to move within us, oh God. Let your glory fall. Let your power fall. Let your anointing fall. Fill this place, oh God, with your presence. Fill this place, oh Lord God, with the anointing of your spirit, oh Lord God. As I minister your words, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Put your Bibles down. And for 20 seconds, give a mighty shout of praise unto the God of glory who liberates us from. I am chosen to change the atmosphere. You may all be seated, mga kapatid. Today, I am not preaching about the natural atmosphere which is a set of layers of gases surrounding the planet. Hindi pa ako nangaral, mga kapatid, patungkol po sa natural atmosphere na pumapalibot po dito sa ating planeta. But I am speaking about the atmosphere we as a church, we are battling with. I'm speaking about the spiritual atmosphere na kung saan ito po yung battle, yung struggle, and yung fight within this church. To define the word itself, atmosphere, it means air, ambience, mood, tone, aura, vibe. When God made Adam, Adam has all the power and dominion over every living thing. He has the authority, the power and dominion over the atmosphere. Nasa kanya ang buong power and dominion sa buong atmosphere. Pero nung sila ay nagkasala, he lost the authority, the power, and dominion over the atmosphere. At dahil na wala yung dominion na yun, now si Satan and his demons started to invade every corners of the earth. No authority no meron noon kay Adam to have dominion with the atmosphere ay ngayon ay inakay satanas at ang kanyang kaaway. And that is why in Matthew chapter 4 verse 8 to 9, napaka-proud ni satanas na sabihin kay Jesus, etong mundo, ibibigay ko lahat ito sa iyo if you worship me. He was so proud to declare that this world is his property because that's a kanya ang dominion in the atmosphere of this world. That's why Satan could be officially called the God, small letter G, the God of this world, the ruling evil spirit that blinded the minds of them who do not believe. Second Corinthians chapter four verse four, the Bible says. Pwede ipakita dyan sa 2 Corinthians chapter 4. In whom the God of this world had blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Everybody shout, Satan! Satan. Everybody shout, Satan! Satan is the God of this world. Satan is the God of this world not because he made this world. He is the God of this world because we humans serve him in our own worldliness. From government to big business to the mass media to the military to organized religion and all other devices is under the dominion of the atmosphere of the enemy. 
And these are the battles of Christians. We are in a battle of spirits Amen. that are taking dominion in the atmosphere. In Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. The Bible says, Ephesians 6, verse 12. Marami na akong verse, para hindi na na pa ng ADD. <laughs> For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, watch, against rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. That's why meron pong struggle at meron pong battle within our Christian life. That's why we are battling over this because we are under the territory of the enemy. We are under the atmosphere and the rulers and the darkness and the spiritual wickedness in high places. That's why marami sa inyo ngayon ang mahirap I encourage papurihin sa Diyos. Because some of you have been through different atmosphere this week. Nagaling kayo sa atmosphere ng sugalan, inuman, murahan, bidyoke, awayan, worldly concert, and worldly activities. Believe me or not, believe me or not, in every places, there are different atmosphere. In my experience, bilang isang preacher, mga kapatid, I have been given the opportunity to preach to different places. And you know, there are times that I preach one sermon, isang preaching sa dalawang magkaibang lugar. Nung preach ko tong preaching na ito sa lugar na ito, my revival, my anointing, my spirito ng Diyos na umilos. Pero nung nandito ako sa isang lugar na ito at preach yung same preaching na preach ko doon, hindi ganun ang resulta. Hindi ganun ang response. Same word, same preaching, same anointing, same spirit, but different atmosphere. There is a struggle for the presence of God to move kung meron pong hindrance within the atmosphere of the church. That's why the Bible says in Ephesians 6 verse 12, napakalinaw ng sinabi sa Bible, For we wrestle. wrestle. Nakita na ba kayo ng wrestling, mga kapatid? Talagang mahirap, grapple, hard struggle. And I can blame you why some of you cannot praise and you cannot worship because you have walked through different atmosphere this week. Galing kayo sa school, galing kayo sa sabungan, galing kayo sa hospital, sa library, sa office, sa mall, sa jail, sa school, and my different atmosphere. Sa office mo na pinagtatrabahuan mo, ay my different atmosphere. Sa mall, ay meron pong different atmosphere. And atmosphere is the place of dominion. Normally, pag ikaw ay nasa atmosphere ng lugar na yun, you are required to submit under the dominion of that atmosphere. Dominion comes from the word kingdom. At yung kingdom, lagyan natin ng slash sa gitna, king and dom. Kingdom means the dominion of the king. Or means the king's dominion. Si President Donald Trump, siya po ay presidente ng USA. At ang kanyang dominion ay doon lamang sa USA. Hindi siya pwedeng mag-control sa'yo pag ikaw ay nasa Pilipinas. Because you are not under His dominion. Si President Duterte ay meron ding dominion in our country, in the Philippines. 
Pero wala siyang dominion in America. Yung kanilang dominion is just limited. Now today, whether you are in anxiety or not, nag-aalala ka ngayon, you are thinking, Oh my God! How can I survive in this world if this world is under Satan's dominion? Paano tayo mag-survive sa mundong ito kung ang mundong ito ay nasa ilalim ng dominion ni Satanas? Brothers and sisters, we might be living, fighting, and wrestling under the atmosphere of this world. But the Bible says in Psalms 91 verse 1, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Bagamat ang mundo na ito ay nasa ilalim ng atmosphere ng kaaway, there is a secret place we can go where we can be under the shadow of the Almighty God. And when you are under the shadow of the Almighty God, you are no longer under the atmosphere of the enemy. Yes. Yes. Psalms 91 verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Verse 2, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Verse 3, Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Verse 4, he shall cover thee with his feathers. And under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Verse 5. For thou shalt not be afraid. Tulak mo yung katabi mo, sabi mo, don't be afraid. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the arrow that flyeth by day. Why? Verse 6. Nor the pestilence walketh in darkness. For the destruction wasted at noonday. Verse 7. A thousand shall fall at thy side. And ten thousand at thy right hand. But it shall not come nigh thee. Kahit ikaw ay nasa under na atmosphere ng dominion ni Satanas. When you have the spirit of God, it shall not come nigh thee. Verse 8, Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Verse 9, Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, the most high, thy habitation. Verse 10, There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Now this is what I love, verse 11. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep in all thy ways. Brothers, I, brothers and sisters, I assure you, sa bawat punta nyo sa inyong trabaho o magpunta nyo sa inyong school, even though the atmosphere there is different, but you... But you have something in you that is greater than the atmosphere on the outside. You are under the shadow of the Almighty God. Just because you are in the world does not mean the world can defeat you. Because the Bible says in 1 John chapter 4, verse 4. Magsawa kayo sa verse dito ngayon. 1 John chapter 4, verse 4. Now let's read this together. Ye are of God. Little children. Amen, amen. <laughs> and have overcome them. Yes, yes, yes. Whew. Kahit may atmosphere sa labas, greater is He that is in you than He where that is in the atmosphere of this world. 
Huwag kang matakot kay Satan. He is only God of this world. The one that lives inside of you is the God of the universe. You might wondering how can we win in Satan's territory? How can we defeat him in a home court advantage? How can we conquer the our adversary? Napakahirap mamuhay ng tama kung yung tinitirhan mo ay namumuhay ng mali. Napakahirap maging banal kung yung atmosphere mo ay hindi maging mga banal. Napakahirap maging righteous kung yung atmosphere mo ay mga wicked, my Lord of mercy, how can we survive this fight? How can we survive this battle? Kahit saan ka pumunta, sa kanan, sa kaliwa, lamang na lamang sila mga kapatid, everywhere sila ang nangunguna, sila ang nagahari, there is a spiritual dominion within them. But that is why Jesus Christ built a church. Don't get that, mga kapatid. And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock, I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it in the midst of the world of chaos and spiritual catastrophe. God hath built a blazing Holy Ghost filled, blood bought, flourishing revival church. And the worldly spirit will be overshadowed by the power of the Holy Spirit. And we, as the church, and we are chosen to change the atmosphere. Because in original translation, ang meaning ng church is ecclesia. And ecclesia means chosen one or called out ones. And if you read Matthew 16 verse 19, bakit nagtayo ang Panginoon ng church? Verse 19, And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Hindi niya tayo bibigyan ng susi ng langit o karihan sa langit para lang pumunta sa langit. Pinigyan na tayo ng keys or ng authority of heaven so that whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loose in heaven, anuman iyong talian sa lupa ay tatalian sa langit. At anuman ang iyong kalagan sa lupa ay kakalagan sa langit. That's why even though heaven and earth are totally opposite atmosphere, Jesus Christ built a church where heaven can meet earth and reunite in harmony. Don't get me, mga kapatid. When you are with the church, you are not no longer in an ordinary places. You are in the middle of heaven and earth. Dito mo mawi witness kung saan ang langit ay bukas at bababa dito sa ating kalagitnaan. The reason why He built a church because God wants us to touch the heaven. And if we can touch the heaven, he will move the earth. That's why the church that are gathered together in His name, there is heaven on earth. That's why pagdating nyo dito pag Sunday, nakaka-experience tayo ng revival, nakaka-experience tayo ng healing, nakaka-experience tayo ng miracles, signs and wonders, nakaka-experience tayo ng salvation and restoration. Why? Because the atmosphere is changing now. The Spirit of the Lord is here. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. 
Let's change the atmosphere of, for from worship. Seryosong tanong mga kapatid, just serious.